this is my uh, seventh summer working with the Mariah Mitchell Association. Um, I've been coming to Nantucket for 19 summers now, and whenever I was little, I would always go to like the Natural Science Museum and the aquariums. I thought it was great. And then when I was 14, my aunt gave me this opportunity that uh, to be a uh, volunteer at the Discovery Camp, so I would be a uh, counselor in training. And I just keep coming back because of that. It was a great summer, so. So one of my favorite ca activities, as well as the campers, is going with the seine net, the giant drag net that goes through the water. Um, I love doing it because it's just such a lot of fun to see what we can catch. We always catch something new and cool every time, I feel like, like whether it's a baby puffer fish or some of the tropicals that'll come up in late summer. And the kids always get super excited whenever the seine net comes up. We can bring the animals to the touch tank and then we all come together and are able to talk about it and handle the fish, which is really a really incredible experience. Tarzan. Tarzan. We're swinging on a rubber band. We're swinging on a rubber band. Tarzan. Tarzan. Back into a prize. Uh, so early in the summer, I made a Jeopardy board. Um, and it's laminated and you can dry erase stuff on the back so it's reusable and it's a really good tool to use at the end of each week to see what the kids have learned and for me it's really rewarding when like you learn something on Monday or Tuesday and you ask about them on Friday and they know the answer and you know sometimes they have to think about it and you can really see especially with the younger kids you can see them think which is pretty cool um, and it's nice to have, like, as a teacher, to see them actually retain information. Thanks. Spending summer here where it's a little more um, intense, develop your own lesson plans, you're really the only ones out there with the kids. I think it has shaped my career goals or plans for the future. I can definitely see myself continuing with education, whether with little kids or you know, older, older students as well. Um, and I think I definitely learned a lot about myself as a teacher and even just about myself as a person. Yeah, uh, ecology and the natural science on Nantucket is incredibly diverse. So you can go from the South Shore all the way to the North Shore and find totally different habitats there. And I think Mariah Mitchell does a really great job of uh, encapsulating those and, you know, creating programs that uh, kind of dive deeper, not just identification, but really understanding how systems work and getting people involved, getting people doing hands-on things. I think that's really important in a science-based program. I think the camps do a really great job of that. Yeah, so there's a lot of interns in the Hinchman House and in the Drake House, and it's been such a great time getting to know everyone. Everyone comes from different backgrounds, uh, whether it be coming from California or you know, having different interests. Some people are really interested in education, others interested in research or astronomy. And it's really interesting getting to know these people that come from such diverse backgrounds. Uh, it's, it's an incredible opportunity to be surrounded by such brilliant people that I can call my peers. I think that's really fantastic. These are habitat for many things. They grow up, up, up. And let birds rest their wings, and they make, 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 what do they make? Clean air for all. Clean air for all. Um, I'm Jackie. I work. I'm one of the Natural Science Museum interns. So here, I get to work in the museum each day. Um, give tours to people that come in and help educate people and keep the animals happy that we have here and work on the collections and then I also get to do research. Um, so my favorite part of the museum is definitely the live animals. Um, I really want to work like animal husbandry in the future and doing animal research so I like doing that. Um, all of our animals are really awesome, but I do love taking out Billy, our garter snake, the best. Um, I think it's because he's the only snake that I'm not afraid of whatsoever. Um, he's super awesome, and I like taking him out for kids because then they get to like interact with him and play with him, and then you get to teach them about snakes, and a lot of kids are really afraid of them at first, so it's cool to like take them out in a safe environment, teach them about them without them being afraid. So I think that the Natural Science Museum as well as the Mariah Mitchell uh, 
different aspects that we have um, of the association, being able to go and see specifically what's around you and then actually being able to identify it because like just walking on the beach, I would see things and I don't always be, I'm not always able to identify it, but then after um, like I've gone down and done one of the marine walks or something, then I'm able to go back out on the beach and I'm able to identify it. And then also just, um, I mean, partly it's from doing research, but also the, the things that we have in the museum, I'm able to go around and uh, see, okay, well, I saw that we had garter snakes in the museum and then you're able to find the garter snakes out in the wild and stuff. Hi, my name is Nikki Lohr. I'm a history major at Vassar College, rising senior, um, and I'm this summer's Mitchell House intern, um, and we basically just run the house the entire summer. So for me, it's been an incredible um, honor and experience to be able to do things that curators do in other places. So curating, this is the first time I was able to curate an exhibition, which many people don't do until they get out of graduate school, so that was a real honor. Um, I also give tours every day, so it's great for learning how to speak to the public, um, learn how to give tours both to um, adults but also to kids, so trying to keep them interested in history. Um, and it's been really wonderful to learn um, all the ins and outs of historic preservation, so all the chemicals you need to work with, different tools you might use buffered versus unbuffered tissue paper, stuff I never would have uh, had the chance to learn uh, at a liberal arts school. So this is very much a learning by doing kind of internship, which I think is um, really precious and extraordinary. Um, so I found out about the Mariah Mitchell Association actually from the National Science Foundation website. So the National Science Foundation does this thing called the Research Experience for Undergraduates and they have a division for astronomy students. So we get to do research around the country. And Maria Mitchell was one of those sites on their website. And when I talked to my professor, he said that this is one of the best places to do an astronomy internship. So it was kind of like an obvious choice for so as part of the REU, we run the public open nights, we give tours of the Vessel Street Observatory, and we also do research of our own alongside all of that. The open nights on Nantucket have been the first times I've been able to see the Milky Way without any telescope or any other sort of aid. And that's been amazing. <laughs> like, it's really sad how much light pollution has caused us to lose the stars and being in a place like Nantucket, where people are so committed to the Dark Sky Initiative and reducing light pollution, that's been great. And I really appreciate the place and the association for that. What really drew me to this program, I think, was two things. One is that we have these wonderful observatories here. Um, so there's the opportunity to do hands-on observing for research, which is really unique. And the other really unique part of this REU is the opportunity to work with the public and practice our outreach skills. That's something that's important to me, it's something I'm interested in. Um, so I was really drawn to the opportunity to host tours and, and help with open nights. So those were kind of the two deciding factors for me. Yeah, I would definitely say that in such a close-knit community, having this nice like science center, um, especially with all the public outreach that they do, is really important for the community. Um, I feel like we get a lot of people, like for example, last night at Public Observing we had, I believe, almost 300 people come out to observe, which is huge. Um, I know the aquarium is also very popular. We have a lot of people that come through the museums. And then there's a lot of kids too, so I feel like it's important to kind of educate the kids and like kind of like get them inspired and make them like this kind of thing so that they'll look into something like this in the future. My name's Kara. I'm an aquarium uh, intern here at the Ryan Mitchell Aquarium. Um, and I first learned about this program through just um, living on Nantucket in the summer. I started as a volunteer four summers ago and I slowly worked my way up. Um, I became a high school intern and this year it's my first year being a college intern. And I absolutely love it. That's why I've been here for four years. <laughs> uh, so my job entails pretty much everything, which is what is my favorite part about working here. Um, so we do a lot of husbandry, animal care, as well as running educational pro uh, programs. 
Um, and that's my favorite part about working for Mariah Mitchell. It's such a diverse job here. I don't just work in the back. I get to see the people's faces that I'm educating each day. I really get to work with kids. Um, as well as working with the animals all the time and general aquarium maintenance. One particular incident I remember, um, these brother and sister came in and they like didn't want to touch any crabs at all. Like they were terrified of crabs. So like they came to the touch tank first and I was at that station and I was holding crabs and they were so scared of it. And then I was like, okay, like we'll come back to it later. So we did like a tour and I pulled out, there was a big spider crab in the circle tank and I pulled it out and they like were brave enough to like touch the back of it and I would show them like it's not gonna hurt you like I held its claws and everything so then I was like okay you guys ready to go back to the touch tank and they were like yeah so they went back to the touch tank and I held the crab and I just like worked with them like I held the claws first and I let them touch it and then they kind of like got brave enough to hold it and then they weren't and they were holding crabs by the end of the, at the end of the day so I was pretty excited that I kind of helped conquer that fear. <laughs> kids who are really interested come in sometimes and um, and it's just incredibly fun to give because it's like it's really amazing just to see their enthusiasm because it kind of reminds me of when I was little and trying to come to the aquarium. There's a couple of little kids who are who are too young to volunteer here but they they frequently come here and they want to volunteer and it's just fun to see. It's like that was me eight years ago when I was trying to trying to volunteer here too. Nantucket Science Center. Mariah Mitchell Association, Nantucket Science Center.